Manually assigning products to categories is tedious and error prone. With automated categories, you set up the product conditions once and our automation will handle assigning products to categories. So you can spend less time managing your product catalog and more time growing your store. In this demo, I will show you how to set up a new automated category. Once providing permission to the app to view your product catalog, you can launch the app. The first screen will show your uh, categories listed in your store. Here we'll choose the sale category and you'll see the default setting for all categories is to use the, the, the manual product assignment pro process that's available in BigCommerce. To make use of the app, choose the rule-based product assignment option and a rule builder will be shown to you. Here we can choose from a variety of product fields such as name, SKU, price to filter your product catalog to just the products you want to include in this category. In this sale category, we want to look at the sale price field of a product. The operator field provides you many different ways for building conditions, whether or not that's uh, text-based matches con and contains, greater or less than for number fields, before and after for dates, uh, useful for building things such as uh, new in category. And finally, we're going to use the exist uh, operator, which doesn't require a value. Now, when saving this rule, the first thing that our app will then do is uh, iterate over your entire product catalog and, and determine whether each product should be in or out of the sale category and update its category listing as appropriate. To show this uh, working, we will now view a skateboard bundle test product that I've created for you. And you can see right now it has a default price and it's just in the skateboards category. Scrolling down to the advanced pricing section and setting a sale price and clicking save, we will just have to wait a couple of seconds and we'll be able to refresh this page and see that this product has been added to the sale category. As you can see. Now this rule builder can get quite complex. So we can use a combination of ands and ors for creating different sets of conditions to make our, uh, to, to fine grain, have, to have fine grain control over our product selection. So we may choose to also filter uh, and say that products can be in the sale category if they have a sale price, but they are not allowed um, if they have an SKU that includes skateboard. So again, once I hit save on this category, it will go through all of our product catalog and make sure that the appropriate products are assigned to the sale category. And going back to my test product, I can refresh the page now and see that the skateboard product has been removed from the sale category, but maintained in the skateboards category. Now, this does take a couple of seconds depending on the size of your catalog. You see, it does now disappear. If you have any questions or further feedback, please shoot me an email at apps at space48.com.